<laughs> What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. I'm Eli. This is my boy Clinton. And we just saw the uh, movie Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. And it's pretty much focused on uh, Miles, Miles Morales, uh, the black and Puerto Rican Spider Man. And it's him getting his powers and now learning how to become Spider Man while other Spider Mans are showing up as well. And him trying to save the universe, the whole entire reality. And you want to give your opinion about the movie first? Or? I thought it was amazing. Probably amazing Spider Man? One of the, uh, pro probably one of the better Marvel movies, honestly. Oh shoot, you didn't just say Sony, you was like Marvel. Well, the thing is, the thing, the thing is about Marvel movies is you don't expect much from their animated. Oh yeah, this is the best animated Spider-Man yeah. movie. Oh, it's, it's best animated, uh, Marvel movie. Marvel movie. Yeah, they don't even bother making animated movies anymore. It's, because that's always DC's crown. Yeah, that's DC's thing. But now Mar but if Marvel can Sony. continue doing or yeah, Sony. Sony, Sony, yeah. But they can do can, can doing this kind of thing and this kind of quality, people are gonna think Marvel when they think animated and the, I, the writers of the Lego movie I think working with this movie. So. Well, it, well it was really, really good and the writing was amazing. It was funny as hell. Though some some parts I don't think had a, the impact they wished for, but it was still pretty good overall, or really good overall. What's your opinion? All right, I'm about to make a big claim here. Don't get mad at me, but I think this is the best Spider-Man movie since Spider-Man Two. It might beat Spider-Man Two. Spider-Man Two is good, but I think this might be the best Spider-Man movie that's ever been made. You don't like Homecoming? Huh? Homecoming was good, but it wasn't though. Spider-Man 2 is better than Homecoming, and I think this might be better than Spider-Man 2. I think this took the crown. Maybe, so, actually, yeah. Because this is a really, really, really good Spider-Man movie. I mean, I love how they had homages to all the other Spider-Man stuff and everything like, like that. They had um, the original Spider-Man trilogy, Spider-Man and that. That was, the, that was the guy in the main universe, wasn't it? No, nah, they had reference of it, but it wasn't Tobey Maguire. But oh, okay. it was like referencing as like that's a Tobey Maguire. I thought that was the same Spider-Man nah. because of how they talked about him. Yeah, I love that reference to the Spider-Man Three. That was amazing. That was, yeah, that was amazing. And the, the animation for this movie, top tier animation. I love the animation. Like it seemed like it played homage to the video game Spider-Man Unlimited. And it did like a homage to the comic books as well. I mean, I love how it'll show the characters, and sometimes the background will be unfocused. Did you notice that? Yeah, like, I it'd be like that. unfocused. Like it's, it was like a. Those you remember those original 3D glasses where it was uh, blue and red? Yeah. It showed it like that. Like if you didn't have them on, and the background would be unfocused unless you put on the glasses. But I really, I really enjoyed that, and that voice acting in this movie was really good. Miles Morales, great. Gwen Stacy. Peter Parker, all the Spider-Mans is great. Penny Parker, the anime one, that one, for you weaves out there. <laughs> that was really funny. Peter Parker, Peter Parker was fun too. Spider-Noir, I think Nicolas Cage uh, voiced him. Yeah. So Nicolas Cage is really good with there. And the villain, uh, Kingpin, he was really great. I loved his motivations. And if you ever watched Daredevil, the TV show, you'll understand his motivation a lot if you did that. So I kind of hope when they do another Spider-Man movie live action that they have uh, Kingpin from the Daredevil series show up in Spider-Man because like he's really good in this. And then they had a bunch of amazing Easter eggs and the post-credit scene in this probably the best post-credit scene I've ever seen in. The oh, movie. absolutely, yeah, even better than like Deadpool. Yeah, like this is the best post-credit scene ever. So you got to stay till the very, very end of this movie. And they, uh, this movie is tribute to Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, so I like that too. And they have a Stan Lee uh, cameo in here as well. And what else do we gotta say about it? I really like the merging of the um, art styles, cause they have, cause the anime character was always in the anime kind of art style. Peter Porker was always in that cartoonish kind of art style, and the rest of the ca and was it New War Spider-Man was in that New War style, and they were sort of all in different like kind of styles of art. And I really like that merging, and also them keeping it fluid throughout the entire time, so it didn't look like you know, photoshopped on, or trash, or whatever. It looked really amazing. Yeah, and this, it's an animated movie, but it's not a kiddie movie, too. No. It's like, it's pretty much a regular live action one, just animated, because a lot of people die in this movie. Like, whoa, just, you can take the kids here, but just, it's more of a, there's no blood. Yeah, it's more of just a more mature 
yeah. like the Cartoon Network thing instead of a Disney Channel thing. Yeah. But yeah, Sony did right with this. If they could keep this up. <laughs> But yeah, they're probably gonna make sequels and stuff. I heard something about them doing a spinoff with Gwen Stacy, so that... I mean, they kind of teased it at the end. Oh yeah, they obviously teased the sequel, probably. But yeah, I think that's all I gotta say about the movie. I give it two thumbs up. You give it two yeah, thumbs up? This is the best thumbs. animation uh, movie of the year for me. And I think this might be my top contender for the best movie of the year for me as well. So yeah, till then. Peace.